Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Those of you who have seen the new Arma Vortex may have noticed that it comes with this new fancy looking tool. Looks kind of like a gun or something. And uh, you may wonder what the heck this thing is for. So I've got an Arma Vortex 4x4 3S BLX. Been running that thing and uh, it's time to service the shock. So looking at this thing, um, it looks like, I don't know what it looks like, but I actually used it to open a, a bottle of beer, uh, a beer bottle uh, on my Instagram account. But anyways, um, what this really is, is a bunch of different hex uh, drivers. So you can see it's got a seven millimeter on one end, a five millimeter there on the other, and then also a 12 millimeter here on the bottom. And then it's got these two other funky little things. And I just wanna kinda cover how to use this actual tool. Uh, one neat thing with the new Vortex is they did redesign the shocks, so they are similar to the old 3S V3 shocks, but there are some changes to this. So it's got the standard black little uh, cap. It's not really a cap, it's just kind of a screw on top piece, uh, some spacers, and then the springs. But now it's got a new two piece part, uh, what do we call this? The shock cup, I guess, here on the bottom. So that basically pops off like a normal shock cup would on. Other shocks pull off the spring and it's got the new threaded rod end. So that was one of the weaknesses of the 3S line. Uh, this whole thing was like one piece and the shock rod end was like pressed or fitted onto the shock shaft and would tend to pull off. So it's cool that they did make some uh, changes there. And then uh, the cool thing is now you actually use this tool to unscrew the shocks. The old style, you would actually kind of push this thing in and then it had kind of the nubs already on there and you would like unscrew it this way. I've got a video on how to do that. But this new one, you actually use this new shock tool. So it's got two different sizes. Small pops right onto here. You just fit it right into the uh, shock you know, body itself and then you just start unscrewing it. So that's one of the cool things. One of the other problems with the old one is that the uh, the actual uh, shock rod end could pull off and then it was really hard to unscrew this thing. Uh, I ended up having to like use pliers sometimes and then uh, that could get kind of annoying. Once it gets started, you can actually unthread it by hand the rest of the way. And um, almost there. And then you can pull this thing off. So you can see it's a little bit different. It's still got a little nut here on the top. It has these new red O-rings that were introduced on the V3. So they seal a little bit better than the older um, V2 uh, shocks and stuff. So that was one problem. The older shocks would leak a little bit. And then you can actually refill or uh, service the oil like that. Now, one other cool thing about this little tool now is that um, there is a little bit of a hint of a vehicle to come. You notice that we use the smaller one to unthread the shocks and then they also have this bigger one. They, they mark it 15B. I don't know if that's 15 millimeters in diameter or whatever. So those of you that are familiar with the old 4S line, it's now been discontinued here in 2021. Uh, you can't buy a 4S crane or a 4S outcast, um, but the old 4S outcast and crane actually had bigger shocks than the original um, 3S shocks. So you know, this is kind of a clue that the new Creighton or Outcast is going to be, again, plastic shocks just like this design, probably wider in diameter, maybe bigger bore shocks. But uh, they are, you can tell that they're pretty much still going to stick with that design, stick with that line, which also means it's going to be plastic shocks, which also means it's also going to be probably more of a budget vehicle, kind of like the old Creighton and Outcast 4S were. So those were, you know, about $100 more than the 3S line. Uh, judging by the pricing of the 3S line today, about $320 to $380. Kind of tells you probably it's going to be in that you know $420 to $480 price range um, and will still be kind of more a budget vehicle. Some people are wondering, is it going to be aluminum shocks? Is it going to be aluminum chassis? All that kind of stuff. I don't think so. It looks like they're probably going to still make it you know built to a little bit of a uh, con price conscious type price point uh, to keep costs down. So anyways, there you have it. That's how to use this new tool. That's what it's for. You can open beer bottles if you want as well. Um, and then uh, if you want to use it for its intended purpose, it's used to unscrew the new shock designs on the Vortex. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Uh, look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.